Hey guys, welcome to Technospot.net. This is Ashish and we have the Eluga U Panasonic phone uh, which runs on Android KitKat version and Panasonic is trying to differentiate itself here with the UI which they call it as the Fit Home UI making it possible to operate just using the thumb whether you are in a landscape mode or whether you are in a portrait mode. So that's the kind of box you are looking at. Very simple with specs all along. It has got 1.2 GHz Qualcomm Snapdragon 400 processor. It has got, uh, it's a five inch uh, uh, screen and it's a very slim phone. It's only 7.95 mm. So we'll just take the phone out of the box and talk about the specs then. So that's how the phone looks like. Very thin phone, if you can see. It's only 7.95 mm uh, with glass in the rear, which is anti-shatter, and it's a printed texture, so give it an elegant look. Now, the only advantage you have with the uh, anti-shatter glass is you won't hurt your hand in case it breaks. Now, if I talk about the front, it's a 5-inch screen, which is Gorilla Glass 3, making sure you don't really need a screen guard to save uh, from the screen, you know, the, the scratches which comes from the keyboard and all. We'll just turn on the phone right now. There you go, the phone is turned on. Now it has got, like I told you, it has got 1.2 GHz Snapdragon processor, 2 GB of RAM, which should be more than enough uh, for you to handle games, the phone to handle the games and any uh, applications whatsoever, multiple applications, if you have to say. The phone has 16 GB of internal memory, uh, which is uh, of which you get around like 30 GB of what we have seen till now and uh, there should be more enough and you can expand it actually to 32 GB if you really want to move your applications to SD card. Now the phone comes with a 13 megapixel rear camera which you can see here it has got a LED flash. One of the advantage of this camera it has got autofocus and it can track multiple focus. Uh, it can track multiple faces. So when you actually are taking a picture in a group, it actually makes sense. Now you can see the speakers are right here. And we're told like the speakers are very good, but we really need to test it around. So that's how the phone looks like. Uh, you have the lock screen. It, has, it comes with a key wheel lock also. So you can just, you know, turn off with a double tap and unlock it rather simple way. Now they're talking about the UI part here, which is the keen interest. What you can see is the phone is available both in landscape mode and portrait mode. So you can use it phone the other way. The Fit Home UI which I was talking about, let's take a look at that. So this is the Fit Home UI which it makes it possible for you to access any application with reach of your thumb. So you can just scroll in like this and just fi find out you know where the application it's very convenient in case you want to just order it according to your choice you have options to change it uh, for frequently used or alphabetical or the recently installed apps something which i have seen in a zen phone for also apart from that you have applications uh, shortcuts so if you want the shortcut to change to something for widget wallpaper and all it's there now let's take a look on when you, what happens when you go in a, a tablet form or the landscape mode. So this is how it looks. What you really need to appreciate is uh, everything is available in the landscape mode including the settings. So you can go here, check your settings. This is all available uh, right away. So you really don't have to change your phone from landscape to portrait to landscape to you know do things. Now there are a couple of apps which is available here which I will uh, just show you quickly. Uh, you have a, a Popeye player which uh, pops over as a video player and you can see uh, still see some of your applications. You have Music Cafe which may which is a very which has very similar uh, uh, interface uh, which matches with your uh, Fit Home uh, UI. So these two applications are exclusive to this uh, phone. That said, now let's take a look at the uh, settings part quickly to see the storage and all. So there you go. So we'll take a look at the uh, internet sharing whether it is possible or not. So you can go to more then tethering and portable hotspot and then you can see you can actually go and share your internet. That's it. Now we'll go to the storage section and you can see you have like 13.26 uh, GB available 
so around like 3.2.4 or 2.8 GB uh, is used by the OS and it comes with pre-installed apps also. Now we'll take a look at the software version of the phone, uh, which is Android version 4.4.2. So for those who love this animation, there you go, you have Android 4.4.2 available. That said, let's take a look at the camera part also. So we'll go to the camera section because it's, it has, it seems to have a very nice uh, camera interface. This is the camera interface and you can see already uh, it has got autofocus and it is automatically focusing and you can quickly take a picture and the picture is taken. It takes a while uh, while taking pictures. So for example, if I just tap it, it takes a bit of second to show up in the preview mode, but it's rather faster. And then you have all the modes uh, right available here. So you have uh, picture quality settings, the picture size settings, and then you have uh, SDR mode. You can change uh, exposure, saturation, and everything can be done. So a pretty decent, and then you can use your front camera if you want. That's a front camera taking a look at. That's a two megapixel front camera for those who are looking for the specs. And then you can change the scene from here. Uh, the camera UI seems to be uh, better than the other other Android phone because it's giving you access to the uh, settings uh, right on the screen. So instead of you going around to figure out the settings, it's really working for you. So that was the camera mod. Alright, so now let's take a look what's inside the box and are we getting headphones and the charger heads or not. So I'll just take it off. Uh, so good news is I think you have the screen guard with it, two of the screen guards. Just one screen guard that comes along, though you really don't need because of the Gorilla Glass stuff. Uh, then you have the starter guide and probably the warranty cards and all. And yep, we do have a screen, uh, we do have the data cable, which is like the regular data cable and seems to be pretty lengthy one, uh, if I'm not wrong. Yep, it's pretty much, it has got a good length, so if you're charging from a wall charger and all, it works out. And then you have the earphones they are pretty much ergonomic uh, the one we have seen till now so decent work there as well and then you have a charger head uh, which is uh, the two pin charger head and it's got a charger usb on the head so you can just plug these two and it works around so pretty much decent uh, box packaging i would say at this pricing you have the earphones and you do have the data cable and everything uh, in the phone with the warranty card and obviously uh, the screen guard also along priced around like around 18.5k the MRP is like 20k but we expect the price to fall down a bit and it should be best selling at around like 17k uh, around so thanks for watching the video if you like it give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more hands-on video from the events thanks for watching